Hi children, this is your SST teacher Suchya Datta teaching you the first chapter of geography class 9. The name of the chapter India size and location. You all know that India is the seventh largest country in the world. It has varied cultures, diverse languages and people who speak not only speak but also behave differently. This country has mountains, rivers, streams, plains, plateaus, everything that you can think of. It is in fact amongst the wonders that we can call of all the countries. But let us talk about the India, especially about its size and location. Before I start with the chapter, let me make you acquainted with the new terms and concept so that you can understand the chapter in a better manner. Standard Meridian, I am sure all of you know about it. Standard Meridian is in fact that longitude which passes centrally in a country and this is that longitude by which the local standard time of the country is recorded. So, it is a very, very important longitude. Subcontinent. Subcontinent is a huge land, big piece of land which is separated by the main continent through a bold land barrier. Then we have SARC. SARC, the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. It comprises of seven countries of the world, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Sri Lanka and Maldives. These countries have come together in order to have peace in the Asian continent for the development and also to see that people can actually live in cooperation with each other. Then we have Tropic of Cancer. Tropic of Cancer is 23 and a half degree north latitude. Tropic of Capricorn. Tap, Tropic of Capricorn is 23 and a half degree south latitude. Then we have Equator. Equator is 0 degree latitude. So remember these three are the important latitudes. Cancer, Capricorn and the equator. Hemisphere. Let us divide it. Hemi means half. So half a sphere is in fact hemisphere. Peninsula. Peninsula is that piece of land which is surrounded by water bodies on two sides. So two sides land and two side water bodies. Island. Island is that piece of land which is surrounded by sea on all sides and an example of island can be Sri Lanka. Then we have tropical zone. Tropical zone is that piece of land or that earth which is between tropic of Cancer and the tropic of Capricorn in between that is tropical zone. So, I continue with the next terms in the next clipping.